So in this video, I'm gonna share my training program on the Roerg and my quest to beat the New Zealand 500 meter record. Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and yes, if you haven't heard, uh, this year uh, my goal is to focus on the 500 meter sprint in indoor rowing on the Concept2 Roerg. Now, I've done a few videos so far, a bit of an announcement video, I've done my training program on the weight side of thing, uh, I've done a 500 meter test uh, to get me started as a baseline. Now in this video, what I'm gonna do is talk about the training I'm gonna do on the rowing machine itself. So the, the cardio side of things, I guess you'd call it. Now, this is the more, let's say complex and um, complex part of this plan uh, and the one that I don't have I'm still sort of umming and ironing about and it's, there's a reason why this is the last, or one of the last videos to come out in this series because I'm, I'm constantly tweaking and changing and experimenting. So I, yeah, I have a background in coaching, personal training, I've done various sports and whatnot. Um, so I do have some experience there, but yeah, there's many ways you can skin a cat and I'm trying to come up with something that fits my goal, my lifestyle, my body. Um, you know, my age, uh, my family, all the things that I've got to factor in as, as well. So I've come up with something that I think is going to work. I've, I've done it now for two or three weeks and it seems to be going all right. Um, it is more of a minimalistic program. So anyone that has rode before, you know, you're doing massive sessions. I've done the 12 sessions a week for, you know, six months of the year training before. Uh, I've done all that. I'm not doing it this time around. A uh, few reasons. Firstly, I'm focusing on a 500 meter, which is more of a a sprint compared to the 2000 meter. Uh, secondly, I just I just don't have the time to do that sort of training volume these days. Plus, I don't think it was good for me doing that back in the day. I had a lot of health issues as a result. So I've learned from those mistakes. Now, um, what I'm gonna do, uh, up here I've got my weekly plan. Uh, this is my, again, we'll call it the cardio training plus my strength training. So we'll run through this real quick and then um, we'll break down the three types of cardio training I'm gonna do and give you some examples and explain the rationale of why I'm doing this. And I, I welcome your input as well. This may all change in a month or two. I may have figured that, hey, look, it doesn't work as well as I planned. But um, the, I guess the main thing I'm trying to achieve here, well, there's two things I'm trying to achieve. Firstly, the 500 meter sprint is meant to be about 50 or 60% aerobic base. So I need an aerobic base, right? I don't have one. I did years ago, but I haven't done any sort of aerobic conditioning um, for years, right? So that's the main priority from this point of view. Um, the strength training is building my strength and power. In time, you know, maybe, maybe later on this year, we'll start seeing more of uh, an aerobic focus, but for now, a lot of it's going to be base building, aerobic base building. So to do that, actually, if you come over here, to do that, I've broken that into three parts uh, as to how I'm going to achieve it. At the same time as trying to build that aerobic base though, there is some anaerobic stuff in there as well because I don't want to completely neglect that. So anyway, we'll come down here, I'll show you how I've broken it down, then we'll come back up to this uh, timetable calendar up top. All right, so there's three parts of my cardio training, okay? So I've broken it down into aerobic training, uh, my lactic and aerobic session trainings, and then also my power speed or creatine phosphate sessions. Now, Effectively what I've done is I've built sessions or, or workouts for each type of, of um, energy system that I'm trying to build. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Now, like I said, the main focus at the moment is the aerobic side of things, but I am still gonna do some of these other sessions as well. However, I'll be doing like big warm ups and cool downs that also tap into the aerobic base. So let's run through them one by one. The aerobic stuff is pretty basic. It's just low intensity work. Uh, for me, it's sub 146 or 147 heart rate uh, using Phil Maffetone's um, protocols. So uh, it's, it's stuff that you could pretty much do for hours on end, uh, but with a real focus on technique and breathing um, and just, you know, good rhythms, um, technique's a big one, right? So now I'll be using the math method uh, so that's where you can test yourself every week or whenever with a 30 minute session, see how many watts you can put out. Now I've done a few of those and surprisingly the numbers has gone up quite a lot. In fact, this week alone, uh, I did a math test and it went up quite a bit, which was interesting, which is great. Uh, so that's, that's the easy stuff. And I would like to, ideally i will do that every day, you know, because it's, it's very low impact on the body. However, realistically, I might only get two in a week, but I will do a lot of aerobic stuff around warm-ups, you know, maybe on a strength training day, I'll do a 10, 15, 20 minute aerobic session to warm up. So 
Try and do it, I'll try and do as much of that as possible um, because it's so low intensity, but realistically it might only be one or two big sort of sessions a week. Then we come down to your lactic or anaerobic training session. Uh, this is a lot of interval stuff. What is interval stuff? So work risk ratios of one to four or one to three. So a lot of sprint intervals. So for instance, I've got a few examples here. 400 meters uh, with three minute rest, six repeats. Uh, a one minute session, four minute rest, eight repeats. Um, 150 meters, 90 second rest, eight repeats. Or 30 second rest with variable rest. So the, uh, or a 30 second repeat with variable rest. So um, that's where every rest, the, the rest actually gets shorter and shorter, eight repeats. So that's the real painful stuff. You know, that's the stuff that you get that burn and your heart rate's elevated. You know, by the end of the session, you're getting close to your, your peak heart rates and stuff like that. Again, it's, it's probably the least enjoyable out of all of these sessions. Aerobic, super easy. Uh, the power speed stuff we'll get to soon is just more short, sharp stuff, long recovery. This stuff hurts. Um, but it has to be done and that builds what this is achieving is allowing me to take the strength i've built in the gym and uh keep that those higher levels those higher wattages for for a longer piece in the um in the in the in the race in the 500 meter row so of course the aerobic base is helping there as well and then finally we have what i call the power speed sort of workouts now this is your your uh, creatine phosphate sort of system. So this is really long rest, you know, anything from a rest work ratio from one to six up to one to 50 or even longer. You know, this is, when I was powerlifting, this is this sort of energy system. You do one or two reps, you might wait, you know, 10 minutes before you saw another, another hit, right? So this stuff is um, short bursts. So for instance, we've got 100 meter repeats with five minute rest. Uh, we've got starts where I just focus on, you know, the first five or 10 strokes. And then again, long rest. Um, we've got 150 meters, six minute rest, six repeats. Uh, so again, you're looking for really high power here and it's, um, it's not, it's not intensive on the body from a pain threshold point of view or high heart rate, um, point of view, because you've got those long rests and they are short, short periods. Like the longest is 150 meters. Um, it's very taxing on the body from a central nervous system point of view though. So if you come in flat, like just feeling flat, maybe after a big workout day and bad sleep and just a lot of stress, you're not gonna do very good here. So you, this is actually what you need to be super fresh for. And in fact, we'll see this soon. This is what I start the week with these sessions um, because it's, you, you can do them fatigued, but the numbers just aren't there. And in fact, I actually had these in later on in the week and uh, I, I had an extra session of these and I was finding like, the numbers were just pathetic like it wasn't even close to my maxes so I, I ended up cutting it out because I was like well it's not going to achieve anything so um so yeah that's the power speed stuff now what I'll be doing in here is I'll be quantifying my um success or my improvement uh in this area with my erg power test now this is where I take seven strokes uh, I forgot the the scientists that come up with this method, but there is an article on it, it was really good. Um, you do seven strokes and you look for your peak power. Now you're not doing race starts or anything like that, seven full proper strokes, and you're looking for your peak wattage figure or your low split. Uh, and then you, you do that multiple times, um, you have to find your highest. So for instance, effectively what I'm looking for is a low pull, but again, you're not just manhandling the machine and just, you know, just using your arms and all that, you're still doing a proper rowing stroke. So at the time of filming, uh, my best is, I'm just looking at the screen, uh, my board here, 1,026 watts, which is, to be honest, not very high. I mean, given what I can do with weights, like squats and deadlifts, this should be way higher than that. It's just for me getting that applied to the machine, which is what, what all these uh, workouts are gonna help to do. So every month I will do that test again, just to see you know, how that thing, how those numbers are, are progress progressing. Of course, the end result, the true measure is the 500 meter, right? If I test that once a month or once every two months, then, and if that's improving, then we know all of this stuff's working. So those are the three workout types. Now, how have I structured this in the week? Let's jump back up here and we'll have a look. So I'm aiming to do about five sessions a week, maybe six sessions a week. Now, uh, if you see my training video on weights, um, you will know that I do my lower body day on a Tuesday, my upper body on a Wednesday, and then on Friday, I do a full body sort of plyo day. Now, last week, um, I always said that this could change. And last week, unfortunately, we had um, you know, a bit of a, a medical issue with my son and 
and the whole week was was thrown out. Um, so I didn't end up doing this particular workout until Friday, I think, and I had to drop another workout out. So it will change, okay? Uh, it's just life, especially um, yeah, with all the things going on in my life. Now, in the ideal week though, this is how I would run. Monday, we will start with one of those power speed sort of workouts, okay? So this is because I'm coming into the week fresh. Fresh. The weekend's pretty low volume or no volume maybe. Um, so I should be pretty fresh here. Now, now you may see I've got all these numbers, one, two, three, four, five. Now this is because every week, every Monday, I change exactly what I'm gonna do. So I was trying to do, in my first plan, I was trying to do everything. I was trying to do like a, a day where I just focus on pure power, a day where I was doing some race, you know, uh, testing, whether it's a 500 or 300. I was also trying to do some like, what I call combo workouts that combine everything, you know, power, lactic, aerobic into one. And I soon realized I just, I just couldn't fit it all in. So what I'm doing instead is alternating uh, every Monday, alternating between the workouts. So for instance, week one, I'll take a speed workout and I went through some examples before. Uh, week two, I'll do a combo workout, which is actually um, gonna be some, it'll start off with a lot of power strokes, you know, long rest, but then the second half of the workout will be more lactic sort of training uh, as well. And then week three, we do another speed one. And then week four, which will usually be the last week of each month, it'll be a race test or a time trial. So for instance, um, a 500 meter test, or maybe I'll try a 1K or something like that. So that will be in there. And then if there's five weeks, five Mondays in the month, then I'll do another combo. But that may change. Like I may drop out that combo if I find that it's having too much of an impact on my legs during the week, because the combo is the one that is bringing in the lactic um, acid training, you know, which, which I may not need yet. It may be more later on in the year when I bring this in. Um, but anyway, to start with, that's what we're doing. And that's what I'll be doing today. So I'll get some footage of that. Uh, Tuesday, we'll do a nice long warm up before we hit the lower body weights. Wednesday, we may not do anything on the erg, uh, or we'll do another warm up and again, aerobic sort of warm ups in here. I haven't jotted them on here cause I just sort of warm up. They're not, you know, I'm not doing proper scripted sessions as such. Uh, and then Thursday, this is when I do my lactic acid training protocols. So, you know, the, the one minute with uh, four minute rest repeats, for instance, the, the horrible stuff. Uh, the idea here is, you know, I've had a few days, for my legs to recover. Uh, and then Friday, we do the full body weights workout plus my aerobic session, so my half hour mass session. And then Saturday, if I decide I want to do something or I have some time, then I'll do another aerobic session on there, which is kind of like a week recovery session plus a bit more of a fitness base in there as well. So for instance, last week was totally all over the place and I actually did my math session on a Sunday just because again, the way the week worked. Well, I got two concerns. The first one is the Monday, you know, altering in with the combos, but that's easy. I'll just, just focus more on the speed power stuff. The other concern is on the Friday, just getting all of that done in math workout and the weights. It's gonna be a pretty big um, day, but anyway, we'll see how we go. So that's it. Uh, I'm curious to hear what you think. I know, it's, it's not a lot of volume, um, you know, ideally if I was a student and I was training like this or, you know, 10 years younger, I'd probably be doing aerobic sessions every morning, every day, um, and then more intense stuff in the afternoon, but I just, I just won't be able to handle it recovery wise, time wise, all that sort of stuff. But it would be nice to do that just to really build that fitness base up, but we don't have that. So we're going to do the best we can. At, uh, with what we got. So anyway, curious to hear your thoughts. And if you do have any training ideas like workout pro uh, programs for, you know, those, those power speed efforts or the lactic acid efforts, if there's, you know, something that you do that you love or maybe you hate, but you, you think it's a good workout, please leave me um, a comment below and uh, I'll add it to my list. Cause the idea is, you know, for instance, on this Thursday with the lactic acid one, I'm just going to look at all my workouts. I've got about seven different workouts in my book and I'll just say, all right, today I'm going to do this one and I'll, I'll plot the numbers. And then um, next time I come around to doing that workout, I'll try to beat the numbers. Uh, and that way it keeps me fresh because if I was doing the same interval session every week, um, you know, these things are horrible, right? It gets a bit boring and mentally tough. And especially if you don't beat the time, then you get a little bit sad about it. So I figured if I r rotate all the workouts around, keep the, the underlying goal the same, uh, the structure the same, you know, it'll, it'll keep me fresh and keep me excited and entertained. So if there's something that you're like, hey Alex, you should really try, you know, eight 500s with four minute rest or something, which is just, you know, horrible, um, you know, let me know. And um, I'll, I may edit into my workout, I may even record it and share my numbers. Uh, the, the hard thing with all these intervals though, 
especially the lactic acid ones, is you never know, when you're starting off, you never know how to pace yourself, right? Like you might go gun, guns blazing at the start, good time and then crash and burn and at the end you're doing half the wattages you started off with. But the good thing is you do it, you finish it, you get an average and then next time comes around and you can try to beat that average. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on my program. It may all change. If it, if, if it changes a lot, I'll do an update. I'll probably do an update during the year anyway. But for now, this is what I'm working with. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe if you want to follow along. Leave any questions, comments below, and uh, I'll get back to you as well. All right, I'm going to go train now myself. Bye.